Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. So today is just a quick produ productivity tip. I showed it to a couple people and uh, apparently they didn't know much about it and it helped them out very much. Um, it's very simple, it's built right into the program and it will help you out more, very much. Um, so what we have here is a floor plan and if you'll notice all the doors don't have any tags. So now apparently what a lot of people have been doing is simply tag by category and actually physically tagging each door. So let's turn off leaders and you can see I'm actually tagging each door here. Um, if you don't want to do that, um, if you don't want to individually tag it, you can actually use the tag all command, which is very nice and simple. So you click tag all and this nice window comes up. It says all, all objects in current view. Now you can select your different types of objects. You can do room tags, door tags, whatever. So we're going to do door tags. Um, you could do a leader or you could do not, not a leader. These are orientation. Click apply and click OK. And you can see what it did was it tagged every single door in this view. Um, this works with many different objects. You can see I could do wall tags, window tags, and room tags. So let's do wall tags and window tags. Click apply. And you can see my wall tags are all here. Door tags are all here. Now, what you can also do is select the objects in current view. Okay. <clears throat> so now, what you can also do is do this for room names, and one of the easiest ways to do this with room names, and one of the uh, the ways that I actually figured it out way back when when I learned it was if you have, for instance, a section. So you have all these room names here, and then you cut a section, and in that section, let's cut a new section. In that section, do you want to see the room names? So you double click here. Revit doesn't automatically create the room names, but the rooms exist. So if I select across here, you can see the blue rooms there. If I filter it, you can see we actually have rooms in there. So if you wanted to tag all these rooms, you just say tag all. You say room tags, or you can use the different types. These are all different types of room tags. So if you want to do room tags with area, and click apply. Click OK. Now you can see all the rooms are actually tagged in your view. Uh, you can see where this can be very, uh, very efficient and very, very good for productivity. If you hold on one second, I need to. I reformed my, my my hard drive and I'm having some issues here. Okay, so that's really the basis of it. Um, like I said, you can use it for different tags and, and different views. Um, you can also do it to multiple views using either a view template. And that's basically it for today. So I hope this guys this helps you out a lot and I will talk to you guys later.